Welcome back to Jib and Gaze. Show the uh, things. Are the, what are they? Uh, there's a, sp a Spanuvix and Spaninx. Oh. I Neocortex thought. Neocortex is a bird. Yeah. So, um, Charlie, you were saying. Yeah, you just. I want, I want to find a way to make obstacles, like just think of some and then think of some classes at the same time. Where you have something. It could even be simple, like a pit that a guy can't jump across and then someone else can get across it in, a, in some way. Hmm. I was. But maybe more interesting examples, like. I have a feeling that water kills me. Yeah, it probably does. Why are the boxes are the way you jump? Whoa! Out? That guy is dawdly. Can you think of any? Oh, the fuck buried him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Didn't do a very good job. Um, as in terms of like obstacles that are interesting to get over. Eh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I can just drown and I can walk in the water. I think you've got to run when it's low, and when it goes up, you drown. Yeah. Sheesh. Well, oh, that guy. Well, he's dead already. Come on, I pressed square and I did it. I square. <laughs> I square. <laughs> you square? <laughs> we all square. I was actually thinking about, because uh, I recently was just like looking over some of your videos, like hypocrite stuff, like Dark Clouds. And like the thing about um, the flying guy. And uh, the cat girl. Oh yeah, the, the that's the, a bad thing, isn't it? Because he mm. makes her obsolete. Uh, not only that, but like the the obstacles in general are annoying because that's their only. That's purpose. their only purpose to to stop you from before you you have to have the character before you can move forward. And once you have the character, there's no reason for that obstacle to exist anymore. So like, what makes a fun obstacle? Well, I was thinking something that you don't have to change a character to do. Yeah, imagine. Um, Imagine this game, you can play the same level the same way, but you just got a different character who can do something a, bit, a lot better or something a lot worse. So it has to be possible for everyone, but just easier for... Yeah, maybe some parts of the level they can't get to, but that's fine because you don't have to worry about, you know, like Dark Cloud, change character, all that nonsense, it's not really annoying, it's just how you play the level. <sighs> What the fuck is that? There's a thing. <laughs> what the? F what the fuck? Well, his legs aren't. His legs are. So there are games that, like Dishonored. I haven't even played it, but you can be sneaky or you can attack people. But I would prefer it if that was just a different type of game mode or whatever. So say if you're you are the sneaky guy, you have to sneak, and if you get seen, you lose basically because they kill you. But in that game, if they see you, you can kill them anyway. So it, yeah, it stealth makes action kind of defeats obsolete. the purpose of stealth in a way. They're not, they always compensate in some way, but it, I think it ruins it. Yeah, so if you can play the, oh! oh, you do the thing. So if you could play that game all the way through as sneaky and then all the way through as really uh, brutish, that'd be, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, you're, well, are you thinking of making that into your game? Yeah. I'm gonna be it. So basically it's like um same level and it's like but when you choose your guy you're stuck with him, right? You can't just change midway to say, Oh I'm tired of sneaking, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Well, now. I'd imagine they all be sneaky, but they just have different ways of being sneaky. Uh, uh. So like a magic guy, he might be able to turn himself invisible, but he won't be able to climb on stuff because he got ropes, and he can't climb ropes either. And he doesn't have all the gadgets that uh, the other thief has, but he can like change the environment. Yeah, I think so, I think designing a level for multiple playthroughs of different ways to go through is very difficult though. Yeah, so like one of them is like really good at using the environment to climb around and he's your regular thief guy Yeah. and then the gadget guy he creates things which he can use but he's not as adept as using the environment because he has to use his gadgets yeah 
Stuff and like that. And the magician does the invisible thing and he manipulates guards with tricks and uh, noise making. The, the, I think the trick is to have like certain gameplay mechanics that carry over. Like two different guys have two different skills that do the same thing. Like the magician can go invisible or the thief guy can, I don't know, uh, something or other. Smoke bomb. Wait, can you stand on that guy? I stood on him for a second. Oh! oh. That would be an interesting enemy design to have here with a guy with a shield. And if you jump on him, he just puts his shield up above his head and you can use that to not drown. I think that actually might oh, be shit. the case. Do you want to try it out? I don't. I've got five lives. And I was doing perfectly fine without needing that. i got to say, it's very forgiving. Like with the water stuff. Because there are times where I thought, oh, I should be dead because his, his nose is under the water. But you jump and you can do it. You can sniff a bit of liquid. <sighs> I'm getting to that point where I'm gonna go here dead. See, I should have died there. If it was like the first game, I probably would have. Hump the water. Have you ever accidentally swore? <laughs> yeah. Every day. No, I mean like someone's just literally being insulted by something you said without you actually knowing or intending that as a swear. Because I remember I was playing RuneScape once and I was being a jolly guy, giving people free stuff and saying ho 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 ho. That's exactly what happened to me once. And then a guy thought I was saying like ho is in like the prostitute kind of... Uh, Thing or whatever. Yeah, that's it. I, I didn't know that was a word, and he was like, "I'm reporting you for saying ho." And I was like, "What?" And he just trying to be like Father Christmas, like, "Oh, oh, like this." I mean, it's Christmas. It looks like you can't. You're right, Henry. You can stand on. I think you can. Yeah. I guess you don't need to, but it's just cool that you can, I guess. I, I'm not entirely con fucking convinced. I'm stupid, aren't I? <sighs> well, at least you got the checkpoint. Three lives, though. Yeah, um, checkpoint. Check, chicken. Just really I kind of want him to be close because then I can jump from here and kill him without him to land. The timing of the water at the same time. No, it's not the same. Not quite the same. It'll it'll work out. So, uh, what do you think of those nitros, huh? They look dangerous and green. Oh, you just run right <laughs> over it. Well, at least I timed it so that, that happened. Nice. Perfectly spice. Old spice body blocker blocks your cock from existing. <laughs> also, uh, vocab. I, I almost forgot the word for vocabulary. That's how bad I'm getting. This is a, this is a pretty good level, I guess. It's hard. It's bad. <laughs> That's it's all the criteria. criteria. It fits all the criteria for a Crash Bandicoot stage. Coming up next on Gay 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 That would have been a good place to end, but we've got 50 whole seconds, 49 yep. whole seconds, 48 seconds left. Well, we better kill this boss. Oh, we got a boss. Uh, tomb Waiter. <laughs> tomb Waiter. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. We've got to do it in Wait, 40 seconds. Wait, look at that chin. Engine. Oh shit, it's her. Oh my god, it's, oh, a, it's a, an amount of me. What it is, is. Tiger? No. It's so. so. He says so too much. <laughs> too much. I say so, so. No. Sauce? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Off my ass. Oh, turn the engine off. Uh, uh. Shit. Look at his health barge. <laughs> Push, shush. 
Gotta pay attention to the reticule, because that's where the shit's going. Oh my god! Fuck. This is not what I expected. I also, didn't even also know this one of the things is inverted. One of the things is inverted, not the other one. Did you change that? I don't know. Just gotta get used to it. This boss is terrifying. I don't know, it's kind of easy. Yeah, but it's intimidating. Well, I can shoot a lot of bullets, so it doesn't feel intimidating, because I can just cover the screen with my explosions. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. So you got to... This aiming is the moving as well. Yeah. That's the thing that's difficult. Now he's going to shoulder you to death. Shit. Oh. Oh. Was that it? No, it's not it. <laughs> now I'm in a spaceship with a tiger. God damn it. Seems a bit excessive, sir. Well, at least you're in a spaceship with a tiger. What is that thing? I don't like it. Is it bad? It is. It's just a super slow bomb. I couldn't pay attention to where I was shooting because I was so scared of if it was a power-up and I wasn't going to get it or whether I should get it. Oh, here it comes again. No, get away. Get away from me. Shit. Right, I can... I mean, I'm doing all right. This is... I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> it's just so hard, intense. It's hard to, to commentate while doing all this stuff. Shit. But also, just, like, watching even is so... The, the, the stakes are high. High stakes. They're really... They're just it out in space. They're that high. That is pretty high. I mean, I don't even know how you flip stakes that I or why you flip No, no, stakes. Two, one pun too many. One, you, you, you had it. You had it, the stakes are too high. You should have stopped. Fine. It's the, it's the lure of comedy. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I don't know whether I can even do, attack that. I can. Really have it hurt him. Health. If you kill it, it hurts him. No, I, I think I just so happened to destroy that thing at the same time. Oh. Bomb. Does it actually get easier? Oh, fuck things? off. Do I have to do the whole thing? Alright, next time on Given Gaming. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing. 